Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn how to do the substitution method with negative numbers. Now, the substitution method is very straightforward, and with negative numbers, all you have to do is be more careful. So let's look at a sample equation. If we say 2y equals 3x minus 6 is one equation, and 3w equals 5x minus 1, and we want to solve for w if y equals negative 6. Well, we're going to substitute negative 6 for y. So this negative number just has to be treated a little bit more carefully. So let's start with that first equation. We have 2y. Well, that's 2 parentheses negative 6. And it's very important to put the parentheses, otherwise you might look at it and say 2 minus 6, or you might just multiply 2 times 6. So 2 times negative 6 equals 3x minus 6. So 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, and that equals 3x minus 6. So now we want to get all the variables on one side and all the numbers on the other, so we add 6, add 6. And negative 12 plus 6 is going to be negative 6, which equals 3x. So negative 6 equals 3x. That means we're going to divide by 3 on each side. And x equals negative 2. So now we have x, but we want w. And again, we have another negative number. So let's take this equation. 3w equals, now it says 5x, but we're going to call that 5 parentheses negative 2 as we substitute minus 1. So the first thing we do is the parentheses. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Minus 1 equals 3w. So negative 10 minus 1 is going to be negative 11. That equals 3w. And we're going to divide by 3 on each side. And we get w equals negative 11 over 3. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and you just learned how to do the substitution method with negative numbers. Thanks a lot.